Diesel turbines don't work if the wind is too strong. A Japanese company believes it has a solution. Japan gets hit by 20 to 30 typhoons a year. That's one reason wind power has failed to take off in this country. Traditional wind turbines just can't take the punishment. Most stop working at high wind speeds. But this might be the answer. A wind turbine with no propellers. Instead, it has three rotating cylinders. This design means there's much less chance of something breaking off in a strong wind. The developers work for a venture company based in Tokyo. They say their prototype is not just typhoon-proof, it's a new way of harnessing wind power. We're aiming to build a new wind power generator that's a good fit for Japan and its environment. Shimizu says the device has two advantages over a conventional propeller turbine. First, the spinning blades can easily capture wind coming from any direction. Secondly, it can take advantage of a law of motion called the Magnus effect. The same mechanism behind a curve ball. A ball spinning through the air generates differences in air pressure around the ball. The resulting force makes it curve. Shimizu's team uses the same force. The cylinders in their turbine spin with the help of motors. That also gives the operator more control. When the wind is weak, you spin the bars fast to generate sufficient electricity. When the wind picks up, you slow down the spin. You can keep generating power even during severe weather conditions like storms. Shimizu tested the device last year in Okinawa, southwestern Japan an area prone to typhoons. Storm, the turbine continued working in winds blowing at 70 to 90 kilometers per hour. The engineers confirmed it kept generating electricity. Shimizu's next testing ground is Hokkaido, northern Japan. He visited a farm that is swept by strong winds throughout the year. What's this for? We had windbreak netting all over the place, but they couldn't cope with the strong wind. If the turbines are placed here, they'll shield the winds and generate power. The gusts would become a blessing instead of a nuisance. <laughs> but for the wind turbine to become mainstream, something else will be needed, a way to store the power. Hokkaido Electric is already getting ready. The utility has installed large power storage batteries at one of its substations. The batteries can store 60,000 kilowatt hours of electricity. That's enough to supply 260 households for a whole month. Many business operators say they want to start wind power generation in Hokkaido. By installing the batteries, we hope to help many such projects take off. Shimizu is continuing to test the prototype. He's hoping to put it in commercial use by 2020.